behalf of the Town of Deerfield, we'll call the special town meeting to order. Uh, I have examined the, the voter sign-in and also the warrant. I've determined that a quorum is present and that this meeting is duly called. So with that, we'll, we'll get started. There are a relatively few number of articles this evening, uh, so we will try to move through those as quickly as possible while giving anyone who would like to speak a chance to. Um, town of Deerfield has adopted um, town meeting time as the, the rules that govern how this meeting uh, is governed. Uh, they can be kind of technical and procedural, so if at any point you are not understanding what's going on, feel free to stand up, raise a point of order, and I'm happy to try to explain what's going on and, and how to move, proceed from there. So, um, In terms of the process we'll follow, the proponents will make the motion. Uh, it'll be seconded, and at that point, uh, the discussion will occur. If you do have comments or questions, if you can move to the center mic, this meeting is being uh, recorded and also the sound system will only pick up if you're at that microphone. So if you come to the mic, if you can state your name, uh, your street address, we'll proceed through that. So that's great. Um, any non-voters that are present should be located on the non-voting section over there uh, so they're not counted as part of uh, any type of formal vote. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and introduce or have the head table introduce itself. So starting on my right. I'm Kate Federoff. I'm with Town Council's office. Carolyn Ness, Select Board. Kip Camosa, Select Board. Um, Are you not picking it, it was up? Kate. Kate. Sorry, Federoff. Kate Federoff. Is that better? And Kate is Town Council this evening. So. And I'm Diana Schindler. I'm the Interim Town Administrator. Thank you. Um, I have two motions of my own. The first, I move that the reading of all articles be waived and that prior to the reading of a motion under the article, the moderator briefly summarize the content of the article to be considered, and further, that unless objection is raised, the reading of detailed motions be waived, where the article is printed, can, and the opinion of the moderator be incorporated by reference in any motion presented. Second. Thank you. Um, it's just a procedural motion to try to allow us to not have to read through the entire warrant as it was published. Um, any questions on that? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? The motion carries unanimously. I move that the following people be allowed to address the audience during the town meeting. Attorney Federoff, Town Council. Brenda Hill, Town Accountant. Uh, Diana Schindler, Acting Town Administrator. And David Prickett, Consultant. Second. Uh, again, these are non-voters who are, by Deerfield's uh, procedural laws, not allowed to speak at town meeting without the authority from the town meeting. So, any questions on that? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries unanimously. We'll move right on to the, uh, the first article. Mr. Camosa? Can I read the whole thing? Yes, please. Yes, I move that the town vote to appropriate $1 million by borrowing to pay the cost of replacing the mechanical system inside the existing secondary clarifier at the South Deerfield Wastewater Treatment Facility as required by Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection, including but not limited to planning, design, bidding, and construction, as well as all other costs incidental to related thereto. And to meet this appropriation to authorize the treasurer with the approval of the select board to borrow $1 million under general law chapter 44 and or any other enabling authority and issue bonds or notes of the town or otherwise upon such terms as a treasurer and select board shall deemed, determined, I'm sorry, and to provide that the debt shall be paid pursuant to Section 5, Chapter 343, Act of 1935, whereby the town must pay 25% of the capital improvements to the sewer system, and 75% shall be borne by the abutters to the system from the revenues of the wastewater enterprise system and the general funds of the town of Deerfield and that the treasurer, with the approval of the select board, is authorized to borrow all or a portion of such amounts and in connection therewith, and that the available, be available for the project and to take any other action necessary to carry out the project and further that, that any uh, premium received by the town upon the sale of any bonds or notes may be applied to the payment of costs approved by the vote in accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 20, hereby reducing the amount authorized to be borrowed to pay such costs 
by like amount. Second. Mr. Camoso, would you like to briefly summarize the motion? <laughs> <laughs> Anything left now, be brief. Well, the, the mechanical part of the secondary clarifier is broken beyond repair. Um, it appears that this is going to be the most economical way to deal with this problem uh, going forward. Um, it's basically replacing everything inside of the concrete tank. So with the exception of the concrete tank, as I understand it, we will have a new secondary clarifier. Uh, the exact cost I'm unclear of. Uh, and there's somebody here tonight that can probably shed a little more light on it than I can. But this is something that uh, the town cannot put off because if we do, we will be fined heavily by DEP and we'll still have the problem going forward. Um, so with that, uh, thank you. Does Mr. Prickett wish to speak on it now or be available for questions or? I'm available for questions. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Um, because this is an appropriation matter, the select board uh, is required to reach out to both finance committee and the capital improvement committee so that they can have an opinion to present to you. So, is someone here from capital improvement? Capital improvement. Uh, Mr. Upton, if you can just run up to the mic, I appreciate it. Jeff, you need to identify yourself as well. Thank you. Jeff Upton, co-chair of the capital improvement committee. Uh, this is kind of a short notice for the capital improvement for consideration. But after consideration and long discussion with the committee members, it was determined based on the needs of the wastewater treatment plant and the needs of the town that the capital improvement committee, planning committee, uh, decided to recommend the $1 million. Thank you. Finance Committee? The Finance Committee never did take a vote on this. Um, I think it's safe to say that we, by and large, or all, agree that there's not much choice here. Thank you, Mr. Olmstead. Thank you, Skip. Are there any questions or discussion? Sir, so if you can just come up to the mic and identify your uh, name and your street address. Bill Cummings, Upper Road. Um, I'd like to know from the engineering consultant the integrity of that concrete container, and are we pretty comfortable we can refurbish that or keep that going? Procedurally? Uh, that's fine. Thank you. So there's always some uncertainty relative to the concrete that's below the water. Uh, but in general, the concrete at the South Deerfield treatment plant is in good shape given its age. Uh, we're confident that uh, that concrete surfaces can be uh, refurbished uh, as part of the mechanical upgrade, and we did carry an allowance for cost for that, for that work. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Bruce St. Peter's, <clears throat> Rob's way. I've been following this right along, and uh, I agree. This is we don't have a choice but to do this. Uh, my comment is based on the wording of the motion, and um, where it says chap uh, to be paid pursuant to section five, chapter three forty three, acts of nineteen thirty five, whereby the town must pay twenty five percent of the capital improvements to the sewer system, and seventy five percent shall be borne. To, by the abutters to the system. Um, I hope that was legislation passed in 1935, and I just want people to understand that this is what the town is obligated at this point to do. And uh, I do hope that everybody does support this. It is, it is unfor a bunch of circumstances created this situation not to nobody's fault, but it is necessary to do it, and as Mr. Camosa said, the fines are going to outweigh any costs of uh, of not proceeding with this uh, with this endeavor. Uh, As Kip said, this is a second clarifier. The first one is already broken, so we're down to one, sort of limping along. Any other questions or discussion? Uh, yes, sir. 
John Pereski. I was wondering um, if we have to vote for the debt exclusion, if we're going to use debt exclusion on this, if that happens now or at a later date. We can, do it. We, we can do it at a later date. Uh, it, it will have to be through a town meeting vote, though, so it couldn't just be the selectmen who are voting. Yes, we just come up to the mic. I your mic's turned on because it's kind of hard to hear everyone. Oh, sorry. I think they are. Do you want me to repeat what I said? If, if we choose to do a debt exclusion, then that would be come to a town meeting vote. I mean, a, a vote of the town. Okay. But we haven't decided on that yet. We're hoping, we're hoping for grants. Sir, if you can sneak back up to the mic. If you can talk a little louder in the mic, okay. I think they've, they've got it turned up as much as they can without providing feedback. So okay. we have to talk a little louder so we can hear back here. That'd be great. Thank you. Yes. So I, I'd be curious what the Finance Committee thinks is the actual carrying cost to the general fund of this. The way this is worded is a little kinky. What, what percent of this is coming out? Is the 75% really is coming out of the town? No. No, 25%. Yeah, 25%. What, what's the general fund of the town? Where'd that money come from? Mr. Olmstead? This, how you doing? Hi. I'm going to turn around. It's confusing. The, uh, if it's a million dollars and 25% is going to be borne by the taxpayers directly, $250,000 for the taxpayers, 75% or $750,000 by the sewer, in the sewer user fee. Does that answer your question? And, and generally speaking, if we pay this all in one year, the 250000 in one year, it would cost about $0.35 cents in the tax rate, or a little over $100 for the average home. If we paid it over several years, then it would be less on any given year. Okay. Any other discussion, questions? Hi, David Simmons, 202 Lower Road. Uh, just curious uh, with the part that we're financing, the taxpayers, um, <laughs> is that the entire population of Deerfield? Yes. Yes. So it's everybody paying for it yes. with how much of the, what percentage of the town is actually using the sewer treatment plant? I believe there's 883 households in South Deerfield and how many? Well, there's a 169 in Old Deerfield. Okay, uh, in Old Deerfield, but they have their own power uh, treatment plant there, correct? Yes, this is for the South Deerfield treatment plant. Only. So for like 168 houses? No, I, maybe I can explain this better. That the sewer users, everybody who has sewer, they're going to be paying 75% of this cost, then even the sewer users are taxpayers as well. 100% of the town, all the taxpayers are going to be paying the other 25%. So if you really think about it, the sewer users are paying about 80-something, 80 88% of the bill anyways. We have 300, I mean 3,200 and something households, so those 300 and 3,000 plus households will be paying the 25%, but the sewer users are the ones that pay the, the 75%. They, they have over a million dollars in capital reserves, but are unavailable until the fall. So we're borrowing the money short term, and depending on grants, depending on however, we'll figure out how we're going to actually pay off the short term loans. Thank you. I think the wording is a little confusing on where the funds are going to come from. and I can't get any closer to the mic. I'm kissing it. Um, I think we should say we're by the time must pay 25% of the capital improvements to the sewer system from the general fund 
and 75% should be borne by the abutters of the system from the revenues of the wastewater enterprise system, period. There, stop there. Because it sounds like the 75% is going to come from the revenues of the wastewater enterprise system and the general fund. It could be construed that way. Yeah. Are, you, are you looking to make a, an amendment to the motion or just a comment? Yeah, I guess I'd like to amend the motion. Okay, so if you can just phrase it in the form of a motion. Just repeat it. And explain oh, okay. It. Moving to um, the motion is to reword the Senate's um, whereby the town must pay 25% of the capital improvements to the sewer system from the town's general fund, and 75% shall be borne by the abutters to the system from the revenues of the wastewater enterprise system, comma, and that the treasurer with the approval, blah, blah, blah. You so went too fast. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So, so, John, you're deleting and the general fund of the town. Right, right, and I'm trying to put it back into closer to the 25%. So your motion is to, to Could, following, whereby the town must pay 25% of the capital improvements from the town's general fund to the, to the sewer system? No, 25% of the capital improvements from the general fund to the sewer system from the general fund. Yeah, I'm sorry, from the general fund and 75%. Shall be borne by the abutters from the wastewater enterprise system. Okay, so it's just. And leave out the worry about the general fund after that, at the end. I think. Yes, yes. Typically it would be in writing, but I think we're okay here. So. Okay. So Kate, what do you think? So, it, it, and I just want to make sure that I've heard it correctly because I was trying to furiously write and then I realized. So it's really going to read, whereby the town must pay 25% of the capital improvements to the sewer system from the general fund, right? The town's yes. Um, and 75% shall be borne by the abutters to the system from revenues of the wastewater enterprise system, and then strike and the general fund of the town, and then leave the semicolon and continue on? Perfect. OK. Does everyone else understand so you know what you're voting on? No. Can you hear me? No. no. It's just OK. I'm going to repeat I'm going to repeat the motion that's been amended. Should I sit down? Uh, you can. It no, it doesn't change anything. Oh, yeah, okay. It's fine. Okay. It's it's perfectly legal what you proposed. Seconded. I'm gonna I'm gonna summarize the motion before we take a second. Uh, does everyone have the motion in front of them? I, I'm just gonna start from the middle if that's okay. So um, starting from the comma after section five, chapter 343, Acts of 1935, whereby the town must pay 25 percent of the capital improvements to the sewer system from the town's general fund, and 75 percent shall be borne by the abutters from the wastewater enterprise system. No. Born by the abutters from the wastewater enterprise system. No, by the abutters to the system from the revenues. Oh, I apologize. Um, a good lesson why you should be in writing. Uh, <laughs> I think we're just going to take a minute and, and get it in writing so we're, we're solving. So I think it should be my fault. I'm sorry, guys. I think that's my fault. Yeah. Up to there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes, it makes more sense. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. This. We moved it to town to table. Or, I'll get, I'll get that as well. 
You actually have to go in that to pay for it. Yeah. Okay. So you said it's no problem. It's no problem whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, it's actually more sensible. Yeah, how did that get rid Because we had additional language in there, and then that got stricken, so then it became weird. Okay. I hope you can read my handwriting. I was trying to make it big, but I know you can. Okay, we're going to pick up from the word 1935, whereby the town must pay 25% of the capital improvements to the sewer system from the town's general fund, and 75% shall be borne by the abutters to the system and the revenues of the wastewater enterprise system. So that's the motion. Is there a second on the amendment? Second. So right now we're just talking about this amendment. We're not we're not looking at the underlying vote. So are there questions on the amendment? Sir, if you can come up to the mic. Uh, Ralph Haley, Crestfield Drive. Uh, along with this, I notice it says the butters, and I've always been curious about that. Uh, shouldn't it really say users? Because someone may have a house that abuts the treatment plant or abuts the line, but they may, may not be hooked to it. So. Uh, I think this is really referencing the users of the name. Ms. Ness, would you like to address that? I, I actually, I will let Kate. What, what I was going to say is that I believe the law is that although you're correct if you're not using it, but if the line goes by your house, you're yeah. almost obligated to connect. You are to obligated. It. So if I, you're not I connected to it. I that too, but yeah. still play on words. So. Yeah. yeah. This, is, this is the legal language. Yeah, it's the intention. So for betterments, it's for any. F sorry, am I, am I close enough? Um, <laughs> um, so for betterments, it's for anyone who has the potential to use the sewer system as well as the folks who are actually using the system. Same with privilege fees. Um, and assessments, user fees, maybe for the users, um, but that's usually for um, what kind of output you're putting based on gallonage. I, um, I had understood that in the past. I still think that there's a technicality where somebody may, what you're really saying is if your house is next to the sewer line, the town will know it, and they will charge you for it. That's correct. With no, with no doubt in your mind whatsoever. Yes, because you're abutting it. So next to it. I, um, if you get a sewer bill now, you are a sewer. You are well, of the seventy-five percent. Yeah, I, I'm just being technical to just say that their facility, their land, or something may be near it, but they may never be hooked up to it. That's all. What you can do as you wish. I just uh, try to make it clear. I think Thank we can. Mr. Kevin Kittle said 35 Elm Circle. Um, so I was just curious where the $750,000 is going to come from if we don't have access to, the, to that from the waste well, well, water. At the moment, we're going to um, borrow this short term, short term borrowing. What you're, but I'm doing, just curious, does this restrict the short term borrowing? If we, if it, no. It restricts how we pay it back? Well, the, at some point, we're going to decide how to pay the back. Okay. We're, what we're doing is now is just authorizing up to a million dollars. Right. We're not, this is a ballpark estimate, you okay. know, um, to make sure we cover our expenses, but we don't actually have a definite amount for the clarifier. At, and know. this is after the motion, the, the amendment motion? Yes. Okay. I mean, that doesn't, the amendment, all that does is clarify it a little bit more. Or it, it's still legal. It's still yeah. saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's okay to vote on this. Is there any more discussion on the amendment? <clears throat> yes, ma'am, you can come up to the mic. Oh my 
If you're borrowing a million dollars, is there a percentage on the principal that you have to pay, the, the rate of? Um, Barbara, um, where are you, Barbara? <coughs> Barbara Hancock. Barbara, what, what percentage would you be borrowing? Do you know offhand? Uh, what percentage do we have to pay uh, the million dollars? Yeah. Or yeah. What's the interest rate? What, um, the interest rate on the loan. Well, it, it will go out to pay. So we're, we're not, I'm not, I can't tell you what it would be. It goes out on a bid to banks. We have an application in to receive um, USDA grant money as well as maybe a long-term 2% loan for a balance of what we intend to do. So hopefully we'll know that by town meeting, um, our regular town meeting. You can come up to the mic, sir. Yeah, just a point of clarification. We're having a little difficulty hearing out back. Oh, um, sorry. Uh, as, as if I understood what you had said, if you don't have a sewer line in front of your home, if you do not receive a sewer bill at the moment, you will not be. You're not part of the seventy-five percent. Well, okay, so. well, I I'd like to clarify that because the way we've written the motion is for abutters to the system. So you may not be an actual user. You may have a septic, but the sewer. So say, and I don't know the name of the street, but say there's a sewer running down Main Street, and you happen to live on Main Street, and you have a septic that's working well, so you never connected. You would be considered an abutter. Uh, okay. Well, that's what I was looking for. I guess is a definition of abutter, mm -hmm. but uh, with more clarification. Okay. All right. But because in our town, up in in North Deerfield, you you are uh, not an abutter. We we don't have any. We're nowhere near a, a sewer Correct. system. Right. Oh, that's good. Right. And it, so we're not our, affected. No. Right. And in our town, if you are near the sewer system, you are you have a sep You are not on a septic system. You are on the sewer already. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm right to assume that in North Deerfield or in Absolutely. Deerfield area, you were not. Correct. No. Okay, thank you're you. You're not. You're not going to receive anything. Yeah. On the amendment, Mr. Upton, or no, just a comment. I don't mind. Uh, I just think it's important that people understand. Just in reference here, uh, this is just one step. This is an initial step of the sewer system. Uh, we're talking a potential of $36 million. And hopefully if we get grant money in that, it will be less. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done, not only for South Deerfield wastewater treatment, but Old Deerfield too. So we are looking at a long term. This is just the first step, and I want people to understand that. Uh, presently, uh, and we're not sure yet, from my understanding, we don't really have a, a firm plan on this sewer uh, system upgrade. We have general ideas from David Prickett and kind of a plan that's laid out, but as you referred to, people with septic systems right now, if they decide to extend sewer lines, they could run sewer line by your property and you as a septic owner would then be uh, responsible for basic, uh, because you're in a bar, uh, a betterment fee. Yes. So you may be paying for your septic system plus a betterment fee plus the 25 percent. I'm not saying that to discourage anybody. I just want to make sure that people understand what's going on with our septic system here and how it's going to impact our town overall financially. Because this is a huge chunk of change. Even if we get 50 percent through grant money, which I doubt, but that would be great for everybody, but that still leaves us with a big bill of, of $18 million. So we're, you know, we're running uh, over a 10, 12 year period here, some huge finances. And that's going to impact everything else that we try to do or we're going to be trying to do in this town. So I just hope that people keep that in mind. Uh, thank you. I guess that's enough said. Any other comments on the amendment? <laughs> so at this point, we're only voting to amend the underlying motion. So it's a majority vote. So all those in favor of the amendment as finally read. All those opposed? Motion carries. 
Uh, so now we're back to the underlying motion as amended. Um, is there any further discussion on that? Move up to the mic, sir. My name is Bruce Hunter, 103 Sand Gully Road. The t reason the town is the authority borrowing the money is that the enterprise cannot borrow money. Is that correct? Um, the, the reserves are not available at this point. Is the enterprise fund allowed to bond for its own portion of the funding? Not, not the way it's set up now. Right? Not now. Okay. So the town has to borrow. Yes. And if there's a shortfall on the user's side of the $750,000, who makes up the difference? If, we, if the sewer users don't have $750,000 to use for this, to pay this bond, what is the town going to do when there's a shortfall? The sewer users do have this money eventually. They have over a million dollars at the moment. Okay. And that will be available in the fall. It's just not available right now. And again, we have a fall amendment, a fall uh, article again for another million dollars potentially. So I'm just saying that what happens to the sewer enterprise fund? Do they got to increase the fees? The fee, the the fees have been, the rates have been adjusted in the last several years. Yeah. Uh, I would. Well, two or three years at least, we've increased the rates. So the rates project out a capital percentage for the capital um, a reserve, and that should cover. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars in reserve each year. No, not each year. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head what it generates, but it generates enough money to have a capital fund to get the initial stages started. I guess the, my my the bottom line, my question is, if there is insignificant funds. It's in the sewer enterprise fund. The town, in, as part of its general fund, will have to pay the bill. No, I, I don't believe so because right. even because this is going to be a loan over a period of time in every it's year. Not short term, I thought. Well, short term, it, it's still. So we decide what to do. The, the fund generates around seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and it's going to be more because the rates were increased this year. Okay. And I would assume going forward, if there's not enough money, that they would see another rate increase. That's but the idea was to stabilize the rates. We hope, based on 13 to 14 year old plan layout of the plan, that the rates are stable now for going forward. Okay, thank you. We the, the pain has already happened. Any other questions or discussion? Uh, this is a two-thirds majority vote, so bear with me. If it is close, I just need to count. But all those in favor? All those opposed? Motion carries unanimously. <coughs> Article 2, Ms. Ness. I move the town vote to transfer from receipts the sum of $163.10 for the highway expenses pursuant to Chapter 187, Section 8, Chapter 1 of the Acts of 2016. Second. Briefly summarize? Yes, the state is collecting um, Uber fees from the um, number of Uber rides that happen in Deerfield and give us back a proportion. And then, so we are actually accepting the money um, for highway department expenses. It's not a huge amount of money, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> Capital improvement or finance, any comment? Any questions? All those in favor? Opposed? The motion carries. Article 3, Mr. Camosa. Oh, I was going to read it. I move the town table, Article 3. Um, Is there a second? Second. What happened? Debatable motion if uh, we can call it to a vote. Uh, all those in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. We were able to go get the money through the reserve fund. Thank you. And with that, I move to dissolve the meeting. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Good night, everyone.